Consider yourself a young woman. You believe that the measure of beauty is how strictly you can adhere to the grapefruit diet. So you are a woman, running somewhere on the gamut of young to old. You are human, so some part of you must always be thinking about bodies, be it how to cradle an infant before its soft spot fills in, or sometimes you might just be wondering if when men point their toes towards you in conversation, it really means they're more inclined to mate. When you were little, you believed Barbie was Eve. If you weren't white, you dipped her in brown paint. You used markers to dye her hair the color of your own because you needed a reasonable yet unattainable prototype. You imagined that someday the baby fat on your abdomen would relocate to your breasts and that as a woman you'd become a synonym for an hourglass. So when you turn on the television, you learn how to detox. You wear jeans that make you take up as little space as possible, and you learn that green tea can eliminate free radicals if taken up to three times a day. And the truth's a bitch when Kate Moss whispers nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. You follow endless point systems. You wear all black and forgo comfort foods for 12 unsalted almonds a week. We have a gorgeous creme brulee as our special this evening, miss, says the waiter as you finish your meal. Bring the check, you say. Your soul is coiling up, agonized, and your mom laughs and tells you you can afford a few desserts. You're still young, still growing. When this doesn't work, she says you are what you eat, and don't you want to be a sweet person? But you, you are a believer, and the philosophy behind the body is mystery. The body is not meant to give away what it takes in, only what it does not. When Marilyn Monroe was alive, everyone wanted her in bed, and you, dear woman, you could be curvy. You could afford a Twinkie or two, and there was no mention of the serving size. And then in the 1960s, when Leslie Lawson became Twiggy, you believed you must regain the body you had in prepubescence. Throughout your teenage years, you tracked the rate of speed at which men turned their heads. But in all honesty, grapefruits are sour, and you can't help but spitting up the seeds which include, but are not limited to, a low self-esteem, a short temper, the loss of hair, the dangers of laxatives, and endless cliches about the need to love yourself. You turn a little bit older. You realize that women before you have fought to get you into university, onto the stage, the Oval Office. You believe that you cannot let them down, and you have the sudden desire to be bigger than your body. You want to own the space you take and to be larger than life. You believe that the next time the dessert menu comes around, you want to give it a glance. <laughs>